Well, I'm killing time while I wait for this to dry. I used the air dry the hair dryer a little bit and got some pretty cool effects. But I wanted to turn the camera back on because this is really neat. I did uh, some wet on wet and all I'm doing is dropping in a little bit of the burnt umber and look at these blossoms. Totally cool bleeds. Really pretty. Almost all the way to the end. Maybe, what should I use at the end? Maybe, maybe some olive. Let's pull some olive up here. Like, they, they look like fall leaves. This is so hypnotic. See what I mean about what a great exercise this is to, to practice and experiment and learn how things, how this watercolor works and bleeds and grows and spreads. I'm gonna let that sit for a little while. I forgot, I started, I started one here. Some Prussian blue, I messed up the end. So let's just add some Prussian blue to the end of this leaf. And I've already smudged some turquoise on here, so what the heck. Uh, drag some let's drag some Prussian blue add some detail to this leaf I'm just flicking my wrist nothing fancy and let's add a couple of bursts at the bottom see what happens there and this little guy, this little yellow guy, Very cool. All right, back back to this guy. I want to add a little bit of action in the light areas. Boy, those are pretty. I think I'm going to add a little black. Don't want to add black anywhere else. Maybe this guy's got this. Black spot disease. And my resist is almost dry. <sighs> Stay tuned. So I chose a rainy day under an umbrella, so nothing wants to dry. But I think it might be dry. So let's take the salt off of here. Oh, look at those cool starbursts. That's a beautiful texture. Kind of looks like snowflakes. And then for the resist, I always use a rubber cement pickup. Where is it? Right here. That's the best way to get it up. But this watercolor paper is very fragile and it tends to pull up with the resist. So I, the big chunks, I carefully pull up. See, it's starting, it was trying to come up with an X-Acto knife. So I can control any potential tearing of the paper. Cause you don't want the paper to come up with the resist. 
Oh, it's very satisfying removing this stuff. This might be my favorite leaf. And areas that you struggle with, I'm lucky the knife's really doing a good job. But areas that you struggle with, you can just get a nice, make sure your rubber cement pickup doesn't have anything on it. Just go like that. Be careful because watercolors, you can smudge them. They're fragile. Cool. Oh, wanted to tear the paper, tore the paper a little bit. Oh, well. Wow, that's really fun. You can go in if you want to mess with it a little bit, which I always do. You can maybe go in and add some shadowing around it. A little drama, a little drama drama. It's so humid out that I, th I think the paper's still kind of wet. Oh yeah, this paper's wanting to come up. Let's quit while we're ahead. So we've got bleeds, splatters, salt, stripes with the water blending the colors. Awesome bleeds here. This is a beautiful one. And come up with your own.